Now these eyes were a work in progress. Over the years, I finally learned how to enhance Asian eyes and monolids. In this video, I'm going to share some of my greatest techniques on how to achieve bigger, bolder, brighter eyes. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I try to post two videos per week, sharing my knowledge as a working professional makeup artist over 10 years. All right, you guys, so I cannot believe I'm filming right now with no makeup. I feel so naked. And people with monolids and Asian eyes, let's be real, without brows and lashes, we feel embarrassed to be seen. So over the years, I finally perfected a great technique to get bold sculpted brows, as well as big, bright, and dimensional eyes. So I cannot wait to share with you guys some of my greatest tips and tricks on how I achieve nice brows and beautiful, bright, dimensional eyes. First up, I'm going to use my spoolie to comb out the brows to make sure all the hairs are going the right direction. Next, I'm going to choose an eyeshadow color that mimics the natural color of my brows. I'm going to take an angled brush to simply highlight and follow the natural direction of the hairs to achieve a fuller, bolder brow, yet looking very natural. I'm filling in my brows using soft sweeping motions with my MAC brush in 263. It's a really nice angled brush and over the years I've found that this one helps me achieve the most natural yet bold brows. Next I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and sculpt and define the brows. I'm going to use my MAC brush in number 195. And all I do is dip it into a little bit of concealer that's at least one or two shades lighter than your foundation. And I'm gonna go right underneath the brow bone to really help define. All right, so after you've sculpted the bottom of the brow, I actually like to take some of the leftovers on the brow and just softly sweep over. And what this does is it gives you this perfect microbladed like brow. And wow, what a difference. I believe that brows frames a face, especially for those who have Asian eyes and monolids. Brows are everything. Next, what we're gonna do is move on to some dimensional eyes, and here's how we start. First, you wanna prime the lids, and I like to use the same concealer to add a little dimension to the lids. So right now I'm just using my finger to blend the concealer and it really helps to warm it up and also brighten and help with any discoloration. Next I'm going to take my MAC brush in number 224 to add a contour color on my crease. So especially for those who have monolids and Asian eyes, it's best to achieve big bold eyes. The way you want to do that is packing in a contour color that mimics a bigger eyelid. So as you can see, I'm already bringing up a little bit of shadow way above my natural crease. Some monolids don't even have a crease, but I have a mini one, but it doesn't really count. Okay, so once we've done that, we can continue to build. And a great color for contour is anything that has a brown shade, a little bit of bronze, or even a beige. But you want something that's not too loud, but again, just gives you a little bit more of a soft fold. For the next step, I'm going to use my MAC brush in number 221. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a dense contour blending brush. And what I'm going to do now is simply add a darker brown right along my lash line. And what this is going to do for the eyes, again, especially for those who have monolid and Asian eyes, it's going to break up the eyelid into thirds. So as you can see, we highlighted the brow bone with a soft contour concealer. Then we went in with a soft brown to create a bigger illusion of eyelids. And then we're gonna go in with a darker tone 
right along the lash line and slowly drag it up. And as you guys can see, it adds so much more depth and a little bit more of a bigger, bright-eyed effect. All right, so I think I need to stop here, okay? So oftentimes, I'm sure we've all made this mistake where you go in with that dark, smoky eye and you just keep going. So next up, one of my secrets to beautiful dimensional eyes is taking that contour blending brush that we used earlier to really soften and blend any harsh lines. And all you wanna do is literally blend that darker color with the contour until you don't see any harsh division. Next is my favorite part, the eyeliner. The reason why I love the liner is it can really make or break your eyes. And what I mean by that is especially for Asian eyes and monolids, all you need is a little bit. It can easily go from really cute to just OMG, did your daughter just put a bunch of markers on your eyes? So I'm gonna show you how to properly apply a clean line to really add boldness and depth to the eyes. So the secret to a perfected eye is making sure with the liner you stay as close as the lash line as possible. And if you're feeling fun, you can always extend it out to add a little cat eye for more of a flirtatious look. And all you do is you wanna find a nice angle, point it out and drag it in. And you wanna make sure it's connected, of course. Now, after we've worked on the eyes, one of my magic tricks is I like to take the same concealer with the same brush to add a little highlight under the eyes. And as you can tell, it's already looking brighter. And after you apply the concealer, all you gotta do from now is just blend, blend, blend. And you wanna really make sure when you're blending the product, you're blending out and upward. And what this does is it literally gives your face a lift. And especially those who have Asian eyes and mono lids, it's gonna open up the, the uh, illusion of a bigger lid space. Time to enhance the lash line. So for monolids and Asian eyes, you can choose between adding falsies or mascara, or sometimes both. Today, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna add one of my favorite mascaras from Estee Lauder. One of my favorite things about mascara is it really helps to elongate your natural lashes. So if you're insecure or you feel like you have flat, dull lashes, thank God we have lash primers, lash curlers, and volumizing mascara. So again, feel free to play around whether you like falsies or mascara or both. Wow, I really love that mascara lifts the eyes, brightens up the eyes, and it really does finish up the whole look. Wow, what a transformation. I went from this flat and dull side to big, bold, bright, and dimensional eyes. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna just do one side of my face, but for the sake of this video, I really wanted to show you guys what a difference it makes on Asian eyes and monolids to really sculpt the brows and add dimension to the eyes. So I hope you learned something today and I'd love to hear your feedback. So drop a comment down below and tell me what you struggle with in your everyday makeup routine. And as always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year's!